Hey guys, this is Alex, the Solid All Cuber, and today we are going to be talking about algorithms. So I'm assuming, uh, if you're watching this video, that you don't know a whole lot about algorithms, or you have no idea what they are at all. And really, a lot of people don't. People usually don't understand what an algorithm is, or haven't even heard the word before. Uh, so I'm just going to explain to you guys, uh, basically, what an algorithm is. So the short answer is that it is a pattern. Um, basically, when you're solving a Rubik's Cube, you're not just uh, looking at stuff randomly and trying to figure out which colors go where and putting them there. Uh, there are very complex algorithms or patterns that you have to go through that will do what you want to. And the reason for that is because once you have, say, like, two sides done or three sides done, once you're trying to solve the next side, if you don't know these algorithms, you're going to mess up the other sides uh, in trying to solve them. And so what algorithms do is basically they move around pieces while keeping the rest of the cube the same. And so some algorithms are very short, and some are very long. Uh, it all depends on the complexity of what you need to do. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to demonstrate to you guys a few with the 3x3, three three, and I'm going to talk to you about the notation that goes along with it. So let's talk about how you write and read algorithms. So in an algorithm, uh, there are letters, and every letter represents a side. Uh, so this side right here, if I'm holding it towards me, turning this side is the right side, right? And there's two ways that it can be represented. Now, so the right side uh, is, of course, represented by a capital R. Um, it's R for right. Uh, and there's two ways it can be written. Is One is just a normal R, and what that means is clockwise. Okay, so you're holding it like this. Clockwise is actually like up. Or it can be R with this little apostrophe next to it, and that means counterclockwise like this. So, uh, right down is kind of what it looks like, but it's the right side being turned backwards like a clock. Um, and the same goes for every other side. Uh, the top side uh, is actually called up. Um, it's, it's with a U, and so you would call it the up side, I guess, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's just how it is. And so a normal U means that you would turn it like this, because it's like a clock, and the U with the apostrophe would be turn it against the clock. And this side is L. So L lack a clock, or L against the clock. This side is pretty much never used in any algorithm. You're never going to turn the bottom. I'm not really sure why, but you just don't. Um, and But sometimes you will have to turn the opposite side facing you, and that is B um, for back. And so the back side uh, is the opposite of the front side. So if you think the front side's like uh, clockwise would be this way, so the back side's clockwise is going to be the opposite way like that, uh, because when you view it this way, it's going to be clockwise. So how you say it, so some people just say R and R counterclockwise, or even R clockwise and R counterclockwise. Um, but to me, that seems like too much of a mouthful. Um, other people might say uh, right and right inverted. A lot of people would say, you know, uh, U inverted uh but to me, that also seems like more than is necessary. Uh, what I actually say in all my videos is prime. I call this little apostrophe a prime, and that's because uh, that's actually in geometry. I was taking geometry when I first learned Rubik's Cubes, and uh, when you have that next to it, you say it as a prime. Uh, so this is R prime and normal R. So that's the fastest and easiest way uh, to say it, is just, you know, U or U prime. Um, it's pretty easy. So that's all the algorithms really is, is just patterns uh, represented by letters uh, showing you which sides to turn. So let's start with like a really, really easy example, and that is uh, the first algorithm you use in the solving of the 3x3. Three three. When you have these four like this, but you want to get a corner here. And so what this algorithm does uh, is it takes a piece here, and it puts it down here, and if you keep doing it, it swaps it until the white is where you want it to be. And so, obviously, we want a white piece up here, so we just rotate this up. And uh, every algorithm, you have to hold the cube a certain way. You can't just do it anywhere. A lot of people think there's just a magic algorithm uh, that you can hold a Rubik's Cube, and you do it for long enough, and it's solved. But that is definitely not the case. It's much more complex than that. But uh, this goes, it looks like this. Uh, and it's very simple. It, it's R, which means you turn the right side clockwise, like this. U, which means you turn the top or up side uh, clockway, cl clockwise, so like that, and then R prime, which means you turn the right side counterclockwise, and then U prime, which means you turn the top side counterclockwise. And that's all it is, and see, now we've put that white piece in the white section, but 
you can you continue to do this algorithm uh, until that piece is like this. So if we continue, it's r, which is clockwise, uh, u, clockwise, r prime, counterclockwise, u prime, counterclockwise. Uh, and you just keep doing that. r, u, r prime, u prime. And we already have it. Uh, now, this isn't even the right piece for the corners, but this is just an example for you. Uh, of what an algorithm looks like. Now, a longer algorithm can be <laughs> a lot more complex, like r prime f r prime b b r f prime r prime b b r r u prime. And I did not expect you to follow that. Uh, if you did, awesome. But that's just to show you that uh, algorithms do get complicated and long. But when you break it down, it's really all pretty simple. So that's all there is to algorithms on the three by three but it can get a little bit weirder as you move on to different cubes. Um, so when you have something like this, this is the ghost cube, um, well this is actually a 3x3, three three, uh, but it's just uh, weird shaped pieces. Um, and so the all of the notation is exactly the same for this cube when you're solving it. Uh, I'll be putting out a tutorial for this uh, at some point. But, uh, and then you have something like this, and this actually uses all the same notation, but you, you just have to... Uh, change things a little bit. So like if you're holding it this way, you're never going to be turning these back sides. Basically you call this the front face, this the right face, and this the left face. And you don't have to worry about there not being a bottom right there because we don't use bottoms in algorithms anyway. So, uh, And of course this is the top. Um, it can get a little bit more complicated when you're talking about something like a 5x5. Five five. So with this we obviously have a lot more layers and we're going to need to be using them uh, that can't be resented, represented just with what we have. So uh, in a 5x5, five five, the right side, of course, is capital R, just like normal. Um, but this little layer uh, that is kind of uh, middle right is represented with a lowercase r or a lowercase r prime. Uh, and so then you can move that either by doing that, or I kind of like to move both layers up and just move that down. It's a little bit easier to grab. Um, and same with the left, that's uh, capital L and lowercase l and capital U, lowercase u. Um, and then sometimes they actually have you move the middle, and that's just M, so that's not difficult. Um, but yeah, so it's mostly the same. Um, it's just you've got lowercase letters now that are a little bit different. And really, it doesn't get much more complicated than that, uh, unless you're getting into some really crazy cubes or some really crazy stuff that you're trying to do. Uh, then that's really all you need to know. Uh, algorithms are just patterns that are represented by letters. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope uh, you found what you were looking for. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. See you next time.